WFMU, you're on the air. Hi, is it Tom? Yeah. Tom, it's Bryce Gorsham. Bryce Gorsham. Um, New Bridge High. What's that? New Bridge High. Yes. Hey, hey, man. Long time no speak, right? Yes. What's uh, up? How you been doing? Uh, I've been doing okay. How are you? I'm good. This uh, is unbelievable. Yeah, long time. We we were in homeroom for, I guess, all through high school, right? Yeah, weird. For good days. It's good to hear from you, Bryce. You still playing hockey? Um, no. No. What happened? Just kind of, you know, it's, you're a kid and you move on. Okay, I hear you. You know? Yeah, I kind of, I played in, in, in college a little bit, but, uh. Really? You know, those, those guys, oh my God, those guys are monsters, though. Sure. You know? So I, I, uh, I dislocated my shoulder, gosh, I, I guess the first game, and. I struggled for the rest of the, uh, of the year, but that that was it, man. That put the fear of God into me, you know. So, uh huh. I thought I got to get out of this, but hey, I I didn't see it at the reunion. No, I didn't. I didn't go to the reunion. What's up with that? You know, it just that's that's not my world. You know, reunions and stuff. I just was not. Well, you're too good for us. No, 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 not at all. No, no, I'm just. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm busting your chops. Oh, okay. I just, you know, I, I was not okay. up for it, at the time. So you married? Uh, yes. That's great. I am too. You really? Know who I married? What's that? You probably, you probably heard who I married. No. Who? Julie, Julie Swarthem. Who? Julie Swarthem. Really? Yeah. Holy moly! That's uh. <laughs> She was the she was the catch. Yes, uh, we got se seven kids. Se seven kids. Yes, yeah. Well, uh, God doing, bless to you. We're doing the devil's business, I guess you could say. Uh, uh yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Well, that's that, okay, though. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So what what what's going on, uh, Bryce? Oh, all kinds of stuff. You know, I. I'm doing good now. I wa I wasn't though, you know, a, 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 you know, about a year ago or so. And I really? Talk to, I want to talk to you about that. Okay. Yeah, you know, I was um, I was kind of having a real bummer of a time. Uh, you know, just kind of not sure where I I belonged in in this world. Uh huh. You know, but uh, but thankfully those days are over now, and from here on in, it's nothing but clear sailing. That's fantastic. Good yeah. for you. So, what was the? You had a little bit of a snag or something? Yeah. What was going on was I was working at uh, you know Consolidated Ball Bearings. Sure. And I was there for twelve years. Uh huh. And I I got up to VP of the whole commercial ball bearings division. Over at Consolidated Ball Bearings. Yeah, which is pretty. Uh, that's a pretty. That's a pretty big job. That's. And, uh, that's... I was pulling in about uh, eighty five hundred a year. Uh huh. Really. Great. Yeah, great home in West Newbridge, uh, right off of uh, the corner of, of Appliance Boulevard and Pancake Road. Uh-huh. You know, uh, two SUVs, you know, somewhere down at Barnegat, you know, the, the work. Nice, nice. That's the, that's the dream. But, here's the big butt, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> like like we said, everybody has a big butt. Yeah. There was one thing I didn't have. What, what was that? Freedom. Freedom. I was a, I was a slave to my boss, uh -huh. and my alarm clock. Okay. Just like you. What do you mean, just like me? I was a slave to my uh, my alarm clock, and my boss, just like you. Well, I, I a, mean, a slave to the grind. I work. I don't know what the. That doesn't make me a slave. Well, it sort of does. It no. really does. If you're if you're punching that time clock for anyone but but uh, T Sharpling, you're a slave. Well, no, I got a pretty good job. Well, what do you do? Uh, I work over at uh, Consolidated Cardboard. I thought I heard about that, yeah. Yeah. What, di what division are you in? Uh, research. That's not bad. What do you pull in? Um, I I'm kind of not comfortable talking about it over the radio. Is, is, is it as much as I make? How much did you make again? 85. No, not as much. Well, this is your lucky night, friend. Uh huh. You know. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Basically, what happened? You know, at the, at the reunion, I'm I met a man who 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 has turned me on to to something that that's just in just the greatest thing.
thing that has ever come my way, and it's the greatest thing that's ever going to come your way. Okay. This guy's okay. name is Dick Zam. Dick, what's that? Zam. Okay, Dick Zam. X A M. X A M. Yeah. All right. So what happened was, I'm walking into the reunion, you know, at the uh, at the convention center, and this guy's standing out by the main entrance of, of of the banquet hall there, and he asked me what I did, and I told him. And then he asked me if I, if I wanted freedom. Uh -huh. and I, I, I said I had freedom. And uh, the guy laughed at me. And he went on to explain that I was more tied down than anyone he, he knew, even those Iraqi prisoners. You were more tied down yep. than... Yep. With my job. With, than, you, than an Iraqi prisoner. Exactly. Well, that's, exactly. that's vaguely... I'm just ben, telling you what he, I'm, I'm telling you what he said. Okay. And he he said he was not only free of all that stuff. Uh huh. But he, was, he was also very rich. Okay. Pulling in, pulling in a quarter mil a month. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month. Yep. Really. And, and here's the capper. Uh huh. He told me he never gets up before eleven a.m. And he's making that kind of money. Exactly. Wow. You know how? Uh, no, I don't know how. Trickstar. What is that? Trickstar. Trickstar. It's the greatest thing you'll ever do. And that's why I'm calling to sign you up for it. Uh-huh. Hey, you're on a weird phone, Uh huh. Bryce. What do you mean? Your your phone's cutting out. It is? Yeah. I, I don't know how. To, uh, it's, it's a Trickstar phone. Can you hear me now? Um, say something. Hello? Yeah, that's maybe a little better. We'll try We'll try to keep moving with this. Have you been hearing what I've been saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, great. Okay. So you've been... Uh, so you got hooked up with a guy... What's his name again? Dick Zam. Dick Zam. How do you spell yeah. it? X-A-M? X-A-M, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you... So this guy got you at the class reunion that I didn't go to. Right. And, and kind of hit you up. Outside of it. Right. Uh-huh. Did he go to our class? I don't remember uh, that name. No, I, I, no, he didn't. He, uh, he He's actually a little older than us. Okay. He maybe went... To, I don't remember him at Newbridge High. No, no, no. I, I don't think he went, but uh, okay. I'm sure glad I met him, and you're going to be glad that I called you. Why, and why is that? Because I'm going to make you an IBO, just like me. You're going to make me a what? An IBO. IBO. For Trickstar. What is an IBO? It's an independent business owner. Oh, okay. Sure. So, so so you work for some company now? No, no. I work for myself. Uh-huh. I work for Bryce Corsham. Okay. And so, basically, I'm, I'm going to... Once this thing starts rolling for me... I, I've only been doing it, a, doing it a few months, so I'm not earning what Dick is earning. Okay. You know, so, uh, you know, basically, I... Uh, you know, Trickstar sells sells a lot of products, and I, I sign you up as an IBO. Okay. So, so you register with me just like I registered with Dick, and then I make money from the sales that you make, and Dick makes money from the sales I make, and in turn, you will make money from all the people who register with you. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so it's kind of like you bring new people in, and... Uh... You, they, you get them to, to sell stuff. Like what stuff? Oh, all kinds of things. Uh, uh, things like uh, laundry detergent, uh, vitamin pills. They have this great uh, uh, great deal with this company that, that they've got going with uh, uh, called Kern Pharmaceuticals. Uh, you know, everything from cosmetics to air filters. Uh, you like music, right? You're a music guy. You always were. Yeah, yeah. I love music. A lot of CDs, a lot of great CDs. Uh, you know, I, I'm not. I I actually kind of kind of lost lost contact with music uh, uh -huh. right after high school. The last album I bought was uh, gosh, probably Seven and the Ragged Tiger. But uh, looking at, at this list here, uh, I'll, I'll just run it down here. Uh, the Verve Pipe, Four Non Blondes, Jackal, uh, Varnaline, Ruth Ruth, Titanic Love Affair, Lucy Brown, I Love You. The Buck Pets, the Nixons, uh, Unsane, 
that dog, June, nude swirl, uh, velocity girl, stuff like that. All the all, all cool stuff. Uh, that that's the stuff you're selling. Yeah, yeah. Because that that uh, like some of those bands are are. I mean, I, I think all of those bands are are not uh. Those those are all from the like the. From like the late eighties, early nineties. Uh, I don't know about that. Dick says that this is the hot stuff, and uh, I should say that that. A lot of these are really rare. They come in, in uh, what Dick calls a, a, a long box. A long box? You mean yeah, like... Those, like a cardboard box? They're really cool looking. Yeah, they're they're cool looking. They kind of haven't um, used them for 15 years. Yeah, he, he did say they're vintage. And uh, a lot of these are, are cool because they have... Uh, they they have these little holes in them, which Dick says make them even rarer. What 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 kind of hole? Like a hole punched in them. Yeah, that's called a cutout. Okay, well that's great. Uh, that's, that means that the records were uh, unsaleable, and they could only be sold super cheap. And the well, they only... are they are cheap. Cheap. We sell them for for a, a great a great price. Like how much? Well, they list for uh, twenty two ninety nine each, and uh, the Trickstar uh, price is uh, nineteen ninety nine each. Yes, for each of those CDs, it's nineteen ninety nine. That's right. It's a great deal. You can't deny that, can you? Well, no. I think that's completely deniable. That's a really super expensive. Name some of those bands again. Uh, the Verve Pipe. The Verve Pipe. Yeah, were uh, Varnaline. Uh huh. Uh, Twenty two brides. I barely even remember these bands. Uh, Titanic love affair. Yeah. I love you. A band that couldn't give their records away. Yeah. The bu- the Buck Pets. Another complete major label disaster. The Nixons. Bad. Uh, Knapsack. Disaster. Yeah. These these are just terrible. These. Ha- you know, are you selling these? Uh. You know, I, I'll be honest. I have not sold any CDs yet. I've, so, I've sold a fair amount of laundry detergent, though. Uh huh. Yeah. Now you were pulling in. You say in the eighties. You said your salary. Yes. Yes. And uh, you know, but I, I had I had enough of that. And basically, what I did was, and I'll I'll, I'll show you this videotape someday. Uh, uh, I had a, I had a big ceremony. I, I had it, I had it shot on on uh, sixteen millimeter film. I went into my office. Uh huh. Into my boss, and I I, I quit, and it, it was all filmed. I had a film crew there, and uh, I came walking out of the building. Yeah. And my my entire family was there to meet me, all, all my children, and uh, they they had cake for me and sparklers and and streamers and all kinds of things. So uh, that's what that was all about. And it was you quitting. I quit. Yep. And, and then there's also incredible footage of me blowing up my alarm clock. Like as a symbolic gesture. Exactly, yep. And I'd be glad to uh, film you doing that, too, once you uh, sign up. Okay. Now, t- just tell me about the kind of money you, you uh, make here. You know, you you, so far? Well, sure, yeah. Well, I mean, you were pulling in in the 80s before. Yeah. But now you're where? I mean, are you, you said your boss or, or whoever he was was making, like, how much? 250000 a month? month yeah i mean yeah. that's a that's a pretty high great number yeah dick's really doing well for himself and how how are you sure he's i mean making money like that i mean that's that's cra- oh. that's beyond crazy money oh he he showed me the pay stub he showed you the pay stub yeah and what did the pay stub say on it it said uh you know it had the trick star logo on it and then it said uh you know had, uh, you know, paid to the order of that sort of thing, like a little stub where it was torn off, and it, and it said $250,000. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, it, it was handwritten. I mean, that's that's good enough, isn't it? Uh, well, that's a whole other can of worms, I would uh, I would probably say. the. Um... So, regarding how, how much I'm making, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not quite at Dick's level yet. I've only been at this since, you know, since February. 
Uh huh. So, uh, you know. Uh, so, did you kind of match where you left off? Not quite. I'm, I'm not there yet. It's coming though. It's, it's getting there. Like, like, how far away are you? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of far away right now. Uh huh. Yeah, like I'm at, uh, you know, I'm at, uh, I'm at 400 right now. You, you're pulling in 400 a week, which is not. I mean that is definitely a ways off from the. Uh, I mean, if you were making eighty, even if I said eighty thousand a year, four hundred a week is. Uh, yeah, that's 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 a ways off. Well, it's it's not four hundred a week. It's four hundred total so far. For uh, for how long? Since February. So you quit this job and to you blew up your alarm clock, right. and you've made four hundred dollars over over four months now. Well, I'm getting there. See, the part you know, the part that that you know that's kind of put me in the hole a little bit is is that you know the the payouts you got to do at first, you know, to get rolling. What kind of payouts? Well, it's mainly all the instructional videos and audio tapes. Uh huh, and you get That's you get them from Dick. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, um, like you know, they're kind of expensive. Like uh, the Success Machine book on tape. That's like ten tapes. That was a hundred bucks. Uh huh. Uh, Prime for Success, which is twenty three tapes. Uh, that that's two hundred seventy five bucks right there. Uh, uh one hundred and three keys to success. That's seventy six tapes, which goes for like six hundred twenty five bucks. How many tapes? 76. 76 tapes. Have you listened to all of them? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. It, it's great stuff, and I'm almost done with the fi- uh, the fourth one, which is like, they refer to it as the bomb. It, it's uh, it's called Access Success. Uh-huh. And it's 102 tapes. And how much did that set you back? That's $1,000. So you've been laying out a lot of money for these tapes and stuff. Oh, yeah, but you get a lot. It's like... You know, you just learn everything about success and how to become successful and what successful people do to become successful. Uh huh. So, you know, I'm learning a lot about success. So it's actually uh, a kid's book too. It's called The Money Tree. Yeah. It's about this young girl who can't wait to grow up and sell Trickstar products. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. And there's also uh, a Trickstar film trilogy of of, of movies. Professionally done movies, yeah. And wh- what are they called? I've never They're heard of Trick them. It's called uh, Trickstar 1, 2, and 3. And it's, it, it's kind of like Star Wars, but in a business setting. Uh-huh. Now, wh- wh- how, how can you do Star Wars in a business setting? It's like the same sort of premise. You know, there's the evil empire, you know, which is like uh, basically everyone but Trickstar. In terms uh-huh. of like businesses. And, you know, that's sort of the evil empire, I guess. You know, that kind of thing. It's a great story. It's a great story. It sound it sounds like a, a pretty exciting story. The oh, there's tr- also the Trickstar car I had to buy too. A trick a, a Trickstar car. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That was, that <laughs> what, was twenty-five what, grand. What kind of car was uh, is a Trickstar car? It's a Trickstar. The, the the brand is Trickstar, but in all honesty, it looks like a Camry. It's, uh, okay. But it's like a uh, but but it's a. It says Trickstar on it. Exactly. Yeah, and it's got it's got my name on it too. Trickstar. Yeah. Now, that's oh, a, I, what's I, that? I'm sorry. I, I I gotta tell you about the 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 coolest thing about this whole thing. This is this costs money too, but it's it's incredible. Uh huh. The conferences. Yeah. Basically, you go to you know to an arena. They had one just uh, about a month ago at the New Bridge Arena. Yeah. And it's like, it's packed. You go in there, and it's it's like those revival meetings that blacks go to, you know? That Wait, wait what? It's like one of those revival meetings that blacks go to. That blacks go to. All right, I'm gonna, I'll let that one slide, Bryce, but yeah, okay. Okay, but, um, so basically everyone lights candles, you know, and they, and they just, like, the, 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 the vibe just gets going and going, and everyone's just kind of praying for Todd to come out. Who is Todd? Uh, Todd McNamara. Uh, who is Todd McNamara? 
Todd, Todd McNamara founded Trickstar back in in uh, ninety two. Uh huh. Guess how much he makes? How much? Five million a month. Five million dollars a month. Right, he's my main dude. We love Todd, and Todd loves us. Todd McNamara. Yeah. I have never heard of of this uh, this whole Trickstar thing. Tom, please don't use that tone when you t- when talking about Todd. What tone? Just that sort of questioning tone. Uh, well, he's not my main dude, uh, Bryce. Well, he he will be once once I sign you up. He's as close to a god as I will ever see. Uh huh. Okay. And, and he he leads us in this chant. Yeah. When he when he comes out and he starts really you know talking about Trickstar and and how we're going to become successful. Uh huh. And the chant and everyone in the it's insane. Everyone in the whole audience chanted at the same time. Yeah. It's, Undo those shackles and kill that stinking boss. Ugh. Undo those, undo those shackles, and kill that stinking boss. Ugh. And like a grunt with it. Yeah. And how many times do you chant that? You do it. Oh God! It probably happens about fifteen times during the the hour long thing. You know the the the, the presentation. Okay, and everybody kind of knows how to. How to do do the chant? Oh yeah, yeah. Now tri- Trickstar, how how come if this is so successful, I've never heard of it? I I don't know. Uh, you should know about it. I mean, it's, well, let me. Uh, I'm gonna actually Google this. You're gonna love Dick. He's so cool. He. Um, I've gotten to know him really well on these walkthroughs that he does. Uh huh. And uh, he, he's a cool guy. You'll like him. All right. T-R- Trickstar. T-R-I-X. T-R-I-X-T-A-R. Um, okay. No, no. No, you spelled it wrong. Okay, because I'm not getting anything on this. It's T-R-I. Okay, hold on. T-R-I. C-K-S. R I C K S T A R T A R You mean wait like trick like T R I C K S T A R I never really put that together uh yeah I guess I guess that is yeah like the like the the word trick is in it it. It's almost like trickster. What's that? It's like someone who tricks people. But yeah, now I have stuff on uh, up on this. Oh, cool. Okay, so you're yeah, you can just uh, you can register there, I guess. Just, but just say you're registering through me, though. Okay. No, I'm, I'm. There's stuff at this thing called Consumer Watch Net. What's that? It's like a, I guess a. a Watchdog kind of place. Critics of Trickstar, and there are hundreds of thousands, have compared it to a cult whose main product is Trickstar itself. Trickstar folk do resemble religious devotees in some respects. They have great faith in their company, its products, and the hope for wealth and early retirement. They attend seminars and meetings that are reminiscent of revivalist meetings where the power of positive thinking replaces or is accompanied by faith in Todd. Todd, that, that's your guy, Todd McNamara. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Instead of a parade of souls healed by faith, tricks are faithful or treated to testimonials of early retirement and plenty of money. What they get are broken dreams and thousands of dollars of worth of uh, useless, outdated merchandise. According to Trickstar, their annual sales amounts to about $7 billion. There are 3 million distributors, so... Uh, Thus, the average distributor sale amounts uh, out to $2,333 a year. If 30% of that is profit of the the $2,333, if 30% of that is profit, the average distributor makes $700 a year. What? Um, The average income is $780. Average distributor buys... $1,068 $1,068 worth of Trickstar goods himself 
and also has expenses like telephone bills, gas, motivational speakings, publicity material. Um, here's a quote from someone. It says, the average active distributor only sells 19% of his products to non-Trickstar affiliated consumers. 54% of Trickstar recruits make nothing and must... Let's see, 54% of Trickstar recruits make nothing and the rest earn on average $65 a month. Holy crap. Well, those people just aren't doing it right, I guess. Well, how much have you made? Uh, 450 450 dollars over four months yeah so you're right on track but you've laid out way more than 450 dollars but dick says that i'll get there though dick yeah now who tell me about this dick zam he's great he's great uh i mean is that like uh is that like um you said x-a-m yeah yeah is that like uh is that like uh taiwanese or or Vietnamese? No. no, why would you say that? Uh, because of the name, uh, X -A -Zam, Zam is kind of, uh, Asian. You know, he, he actually has very blonde hair and a very blonde mustache. He, he actually looks like, uh, Robert Redford in, uh, The Electronic Horseman. So he has blonde hair. Yeah. And he, he has a mustache like what? Like, uh... Robert Redford in The Electronic Horseman. The the Electric Horseman? What did I say? You said Electronic Horseman. Oh, it's the same thing. Well, I think there's a difference between electric and electronic, but that that's really beside the point. So, gosh, I wish I could I could watch that movie, you know, or 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 any movie. What <laughs> What do you mean? Oh well, Dick, you know, Dick says I can't I can't have a TV anymore, or or a computer. Why? Well, he, he, he took both of those uh, during his first walkthrough. What, what, what's a walkthrough? Well, he you know, Dick comes around and, uh, once a week, and he looks around and sees if you've got any uh, what he calls uh, lie delivery mechanisms, you know, like newspapers or TVs or radios, that sort of thing. Uh-huh. He, he took my plasma TV and my whole new entertainment station the first the first time he came by. He he even took my son's comic book. Your son's comic book. Yeah, Daredevil. Uh huh. Why why did he take his comic book? He said it it uh, it had a potential to uh, warp my son's mind in, in, in a you know in in a very bad anti trick star kind of way. But it's interesting because I, I saw Dick reading the Daredevil comic several times over the next few days. Uh huh. Um, I know. I know he was reading it because the bookmark kept moving. Wait, he he had a bookmark in a comic book. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> you know, comic books are like twenty-two pages long. Y yeah, I know. I uh, my son he reads them very quickly, but uh -huh. I. Uh, yeah, Dick. I guess he savors them. I, I don't know. Yeah. So so anyway, he took all your stuff. That's the bigger thing here. Well, he he says he doesn't want me to lose uh, my focus. You know, that's why uh, that's why he also uh, had my wife move out too. Your wife, your wife moved out of your house. Yeah, he said that she uh, could possibly ruin my focus also. And, and where that, where is she now? Well, that's the thing. He he said he needs to talk to her a lot about it so uh uh she actually lives with him now that's so you live all by yourself now in the house no i, I live with his with uh my uh kids uh -huh. and 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 dick's son robbie robbie yeah uh-huh yeah but you know he, he's right though she she was I, I guess ruining my focus and uh, he was really after me to you know to get her to uh, relocate and I can't tell you how many times I got home from work you know and, and I hear the two of them talking in our bedroom and uh, you know so they must, they had some really heated conversations uh, that that I don't even want to know about um, let me just what is this guy's name uh, Dick, Dick, Dick Sam. Sam yeah yeah I, I Dick. Sam. 
X A M. Yeah. yeah. You never know when those walkthroughs are going to be. You know, sometimes it's four in the morning. Sometimes it's it's when I get home from work. You, you never know. Now, what goes on in a walkthrough? He, he walks through and he sees if, uh, like I said, if, if you have any sort of, you know, basically it's information from the outside world, the non-trick star world. Uh huh. And you know, he confiscates it. Well, you know, so are you sure that he just doesn't want you reading anything that might say something bad about Trickstar? Oh, Tom, you shouldn't question uh, Trickstar ever. Why? Because it's wrong. What's Todd, wrong? Todd says it's wrong. It's it's wrong to question it. Yes. You're not you're not at all disturbed by any of this. The fact that you don't have a TV in your house now. No, I, I don't need it. It 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 it, uh, it takes it takes my focus away. Uh huh. I you know I think I think it, it really feels like you're being taken for a ride here. Oh, don't say that. Does, you don't see that at all? No. Oh. You let's let's just break down the stuff. You, a guy now takes all the stuff out of your house. Right. He has your TV now. Your, TV. your wife lives with him. Right. He gets you to buy all these tapes. Right. Yeah, that's and and you're just you're you're barely selling anything. You he's got you selling these cut out CDs. Well, that's where you come in. You help me. How do I help you? I sign you up, and then you kind of kind of work for me too. No, I'm not going to do that because then then I what? Please. <laughs> no, please. Well, we got buds still, aren't we? I well, I haven't spoken to you in a long time, but we're not best buds. And come on, bro. You're you're just you're just really being taken for a ride here, uh, Bryce. I don't think I am. It's it's right. It's it's very clear. And this guy, I actually see now online. Dick Zam is um. Yeah, look. It looks like he broke out of jail. What? Yeah. You're making that up. What? No, I'm Read not. Ma I'm not making that up. Read it. I just say. It's just I'm looking. There's. A, it just says he. he um, What's like a wanted poster or something? It's just saying he escaped from. Uh, yeah. Newbridge Correctional Facility. Um, he's wanted. He, he, I guess he strangled someone. Oh my God! You know, he 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 was wearing an orange jumpsuit the night outside of the of the uh, of the reunion. The night that I met him. Yeah. And I, I thought that was just like something to like keep him humbled and keep his focus. To, uh, what a uh, an orange jumpsuit? You know how like Tibetan monks will will not dress like really, you know, snazzily. Yeah, and they'll, so, and they'll wear robes like so they don't really. It doesn't take away their focus. You know what I mean? Like like outlandish clothing. So you thought that that's what that was? I did, and you know he also had what I thought at the time was like just a very thick bracelet. Uh huh. Which, in retrospect, could have been handcuffs. Yeah, those those probably were handcuffs. I thought it was just expensive jewelry. Oh my God! No, that was uh, those were handcuffs. Oh man! So he, you, you think he strangled somebody? I know he did. He oh was convicted God. of it. He was convicted of it. Yes. Well, he was in jail. Oh my God! Oh my God! Tom, you know what? What's that? He's doing a walkthrough here tonight. He told he told me it was going to be the big walkthrough. The big walkthrough. Oh my God, Tom! He, you know what else he told me? What? He said he needed to borrow my power saw and a bunch of plastic bags. So what do you think he's going to kill you? He said he 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 said that he was going to cut some trees down in my backyard, but that sounds weird, doesn't it? Now. Now, it's, it, considering that he's a convicted murderer, yes. It sounds like I'm about to be murdered, doesn't it? It's uh, You know, I don't want to panic you, but I would say, yes, it sounds like you're about to be murdered. Oh, my God. He's going to be here soon. Oh, my God. What am I Oh, hey. Hi, Dick. Um, That's him? 
Uh-huh. What is he doing? Um, no, Jake, I'm, I'm just talking to a, a, a potential um, a, um, IBO. Um, he, he's real interested in, in um, that Greek Black uh, CD. Um, oh, Dick, I see, I see you have the um, have the saw and and uh, the the plastic bag. Dick, what are you doing by my my phone line? Hey, Bryce. Dick. Bryce. Dick, why are you cutting? Jesus. Ugh. I don't know what to say. Kind of creepy. Guess we could go back to open phone Tuesday again.